What's up, YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood gamer, your host, Coach Key, here and welcome to Legends of Dice Cafe, where we learn about tabletop RPGs from old school to modern, tips, tricks, reviews, and lots and lots of solo gameplay. Back with my weekly video like I do every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And today's video, courtesy of the Patreon supporters voting on this week's video like they do every other week. <laughs> and today's video, I'm going to be <laughs> sharing with you guys a bit of my tabletop RPG collection. At least what I've gained along the way. So, I'm excited to do this video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Even though you guys periodically get a chance to see some of the cool things. But just in case you've missed those videos, I'm looking forward to doing this one. I'm going to put this down for a sec. Whew. So that will be today's video. Don't forget, if you are digging the content, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Legends of Dice Cafe, on Facebook. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's get it. We're going to start off with the miniatures and the standees, okay? I'm going to show you the first ones that I got. I was advised by my spouse to not show you every single one. <laughs> and to also not show you every single one of my dice. They said to pick my favorites and then show those. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first ones that I got right here are these. This is so cool, like showing your toys off. This is so cool. This is such a cool video, so thanks. <laughs> Thanks for voting on it. And yeah, so they're just townspeople, but I think they're really cool. You know, they were the first, my first ones. I use them in games to just kind of throw in as NPCs, which is what they are. And I like them. They're pretty cool. It's got some pretty cool ones in here. You know, and they've got a nice weight to them too. I like a good weight to them. Just like uh, I with pens, I like to write a lot. So I like uh, pens with a good weight to them. Uh, so these are my first set. Well, I didn't know what I was doing, so I was just like, I just saw miniatures, and I'm like, I'm going to buy them. So, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Here is my very first one. I made it on Hero Forge, and and someone that I play D&D with, eventually, well, every other Wednesdays, most of the time, he was nice enough to make it for me. He let me know, just get, grab the file, and he will take care of from there. I played a cleric in my first game, and of course, you know, I had to put the name on it, 23. I should have put the month, but... It was pretty cool. I like it. Next up, we have, I think the name brand is called WizKid or something like that. And I get them because they're, because to me, they're a decent price. I typically can get, it comes with like two for like $4.99 or two for $5.99. And I've just kind of been collecting them along the way. I go into this store when I come out of D when I get out of D and D, I go to uh, this board game store, and uh, so I pick up some of some. I swear, I pick up a lot of random miscellaneous dice and stuff, and these miniatures as well. These are pretty cool as well. These are my favorites so far. I, I like the detail. I think they look really, really nice. I like them a lot. I want to learn how to paint them, but some of them look really, really good just with that gray. Yeah, these are some of my favorite ones. And the Dragonborn. I had to show you that one too. I think they are. I think they look really, really nice. Yeah. Hands down my favorite so far. And again, I found these at the board game store and on Amazon as well. And of course, as you see, <laughs> Next up, I have my standees. These are my Dragon Bane standees. If you've missed that video where um, I'm doing an unboxing for the Dragon Bane starter set as well as solo play, make sure you go and check it out. Pretty sure I have a few sessions of solo play. And these standees are really, really cool. I use them in solo play. I take them to the D&D game sometimes. I like these standees. I and they come with monsters and you got NPCs. And then it comes with not enough backs for all of them, but it comes with a good amount. Plus the starter set just comes with so much, so it's okay. As I was looking through my standees and my miniatures, I was like, you know what? I have qu 
I have a nice collection of them so far. <laughs> so these are from actually a board game, but these are really cool. And after playing D&D and learning other tabletop RPGs, I'm like, this is so cool. This is cool playing on top of the table, playing with paper and pens and dice and stuff. So I started looking into some I started looking into some board games and I found Marvel and what attracted me to it was the uh, was the miniatures inside of them. I love them. They come with like zombie heroes and then regular superheroes. Uh, this is Hydro, his minions, zombies, standees, and then it comes with a cool, really cool set of dice. I like these. I love a nice set of dice. I love that. I love the shine to them. And then they have like the zombie, the bite marks on them as well, which I think is super cool. And they're red and black. Awesome color together. I really enjoy the game as well. I'm just gonna show you a couple of my favorites. And here's some of my favorites. And these are really, really cool. I like the way that they're made. This is She-Hulk, you know, Hulk. <laughs> this is a zombie version of Loki, which I think is super dope. Look at that. And then, Doctor Strange. He's also a zombie. See, and the standees are pretty cool. I can use them and I have used them in um, some tabletop games that I played by myself. And these come with enough for enough bottoms for all of these, <laughs> which is super cool. Next up, I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, all these are is for D&D. They're just character sheets. Lots and lots of character sheets. Honestly, it has, I think it has like maybe three or four different styles. And like I said, it has a couple different styles inside of there. And I think all together, uh, including like the magic uh, sheet, it comes with like, I think it's like 200 pages. And it was $9.99 on Amazon. So I thought it was pretty cool. So, and I actually use them. Again, I use them in solo play. I was playing in a campaign where I was able to use a physical sheet as well online. And then, of course, when I go and I play in person. So I've definitely been using this up. Like I said, I'm currently playing a half-elf warlock. And I'm going to level it up to three. I've been putting the dates and the GMs that I've been <laughs> playing with this particular character. And my character's name is Akip. Then, of course, my super cool dice set. <laughs> and I'm not going to show you guys every single set. And like I said, when I go to that uh, board game shop after my D&D games, I normally go in there and pick up some random dice and see that these are a few of the ones that I've purchased. I like orange. I like red. I think these white ones look pretty cool, too. I wouldn't mind maybe getting a full set. So far, a few of my favorites are this one. Pretty sure I got it from Amazon. I love, love that yellow in there. And the set, this set right here that came with the essentials kit. It came with all of these dice as well. I love the way it looks. Honestly, my least favorite dice that I have in this entire box are the ones that came in the starter set. The essentials kit is definitely where it's at. And then this is one of the few times I went in the, to the board games to the board game store and actually got a full set. So I got these. I thought these were super super dope. And then these two sets are super cool: the lighter blue and the darker blue. And then my, the set that came with the Dragon Bane. I love these. My dice tray. I definitely want to get a new one. I want to get a bigger one and a different, like a different material as well. So, but this is cool for now. Next up are my DM screens. Now, again, I've never played in person, but I will be playing in person soon uh, at the end of May. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm really, really excited. This one is my favorite. I like that. I like that a lot. It's got some cool information in it. The other one I'm going to show you actually has more information in it that I use and I normally keep the other one up. I need an actual DM screen, maybe a custom DM screen where I can put my own stuff, my own information inside of it. As I continue to keep learning and growing and stuff, I'm sure that it's going to change up, but it's definitely a cool DM screen. So it's got some, inform it's got some information in it that would be, that would be useful and has been useful. And this is the most recent one that I got. This is the one that I was going to use for Momocon. And uh, this one actually came with something cool. It came with these cool, uh, it came with a bunch of different cards. Some of the cards I actually use, and I'll show you real quick. But look at this. It came with some really cool cards to make dungeons. These are awesome. It comes with quite a bit of them. Uh, 
But the artwork on here is super dope as well. It's nice. It does come with like uh, random tables, uh, dungeon encounters. Not a lot of them, but it's pretty cool. What's really honestly most helpful is the conditions and the skills and associated abilities helps me out as well. I use this part right here. Now, a couple months ago, uh, the same individual who made my miniature, my very first miniature, custom miniature, he gave me this as well, which is he's so cool. They're so cool there. Everybody there is just super chill. And this one comes with These I'll definitely be taking to Momocon because I can throw them in my book bag. It comes with a bunch of these. Connect them like Lego pieces. And then it comes with these as well. I've already used a few of them in, I'm pretty sure in um, in 5e solo play, solo playthrough I did. I like these, this is super cool. It comes with a few of them too. Furniture as well, you got your table. <laughs> These are cool. And like I said, some of the cards that these came from the Essentials Kit, these are very helpful as well. Some magical cards, so I might invest into purchasing a set. And but these do come in really these come in handy. And let me show you one more thing that I use is this cool book. I think it was like maybe $11.99 on Amazon. As you can see, I've been doing sketches in it. The lines help me out a lot as well. This is my favorite book to do some doodling and some practicing, trying to do the mountains. As you can see, it starts to get a little better. <laughs> Starting to get a little better. So yeah. Practice, my practice book. And that's it, a few of the cool, few of some of the coolest things that I've collected along my tabletop role-playing journey. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out to support and watch the video. And don't forget to follow Legends and Dice on Facebook as well. So I'm gonna go and kick back and relax for the rest of the evening. I hope you guys have a super fantastic, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Hope you do something fun, something that makes you smile, something that you enjoy over the weekend. And oh, don't forget to make sure you hit that like button, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so whenever I do drop a video, <laughs> you'll be notified. So you won't miss out on any of the cool content that I drop every single week. I'll see you guys next week, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. And I'll talk to you guys soon.